The lock-in golf grip is designed to lock in your controlling hand in the proper position to create consistency. You can set it to strong, neutral, or in a weak position. The first thing you need to do is to select the club to practice with. It is recommended to start with a 9 or an 8 iron. Then you want to inspect the grip to make sure that the actual grip does not slide around on the shaft. If it's not sliding around on a shaft, this would be a good club to practice with. Next, attach the lock-in golf grip to the top of the grip and lightly tighten. Then rotate the lock-in golf grip so that the large line and the white dot is lined up with the leading edge. This is the position of a neutral grip. Then mark a line on the butt end of the grip to reference the leading edge. Now, because 85% of professional golfers have a strong grip, it is recommended practice with a strong grip. Therefore, you can now rotate the lock-in golf grip one notch clockwise, and then tighten it down so it doesn't slide around. Also, remember that having a strong grip is uncomfortable at first for most amateurs. You will feel like your leading hand is twisted in the position, but you need to trust it. Try the strong grip setting for a while to see how it works. You can always try the other settings later. You are now ready to start your practice. The best way to do this is to hold the club in the air, grip the club and slide your hand back in the lock-in golf grip so that the lock-in golf grip is in the back of your hand and your knuckles are shown here. Also, have the shaft pointing directly to your waistline and parallel to the ground. Have the toe pointing straight up and also make a small or a lowercase y with your arms in the club. Another way to put it is have a straight line from your left arm all the way down to your club and go ahead and bend down and when you hit the ground, that's where the ball should be and it should be right in the center of your stance. This is where you can practice all your swings, whether you hit short ones, whether you take long back swings. I recommend following the six-step program for best results.